Concrete Heads, Owen Blevins, ConcreteAnswers.tv, bringing you the Internet's most passionate show about concrete plants and equipment. Today, Bin Butler, Airmatic. This baby does it and does it well. What does it do? It moves stubborn material from the walls of bins. We're down inside a 12 by 15 foot bin that holds number 10 stone dust, and we're going to show you exactly how the Bin Butler does its thing. So check it out. Heads. We are now down inside a bunker which holds six material handling bins, each one of which holds 150 ton of aggregate above it. This feeds a wet batch plant up top. It's a 400 foot conveyor and we're using uh, number 10 stone right here which is a combination of uh, some dust. It's really it's the trappings uh, from the uh, crushing plant across the street and it's it's a waste product but these folks are using it to make new concrete fills the voids reduces the amount of cement you need to use uh, it's a great product to use but the the real challenge with that is of course uh, when this stuff gets wet it's a real bugger to move so along comes bin butler and the bin butler from airmatic great folks uh, really solves their problem here we have a cutout of the actual, one of the actual bin butlers. This is a two inch unit. They make it in a two and a three quarter inch unit. So if you have a smaller application, it can still work there as well. So the air uh, comes in through the back of the bin butler and it looks like an automotive valve, like an intake or exhaust valve. It has a spring here and when the solenoid releases the air, anywhere from uh, 80 to 95 pounds of air pressure, it opens this for a fraction of a second and it creates a knife, if you will, an air knife, anywhere from a diameter of 18 to 30 inches in diameter and that breaks the, the bond between the material and the inside wall of the bin. And it effectively allows the material then to flow out through the gate. The brains behind the bin butlers here is this little timer board. I'm sure you've seen these before with the dust collectors. This timer board controls the duration and the frequency. You can change them. They're variable uh, adjustments with those two pots up there. And of course, when the solenoid valve opens, we have it designed so the bin butlers fire off in a sequence and if you look up here you can see we'll have this one fire and then that one and then two on the other side so we've got a total of 12 of these in this 12 by 15 hopper and it will take the most sticky substance and break that bond between the inside wall of the bin and the actual material effectively breaking the bridge creed heads bottom line bin butlers from aromatic work this customer bought one set from us. We told him, hey, if they don't work, we'll yank them out and we'll give you your money back. Well, guess what? They didn't yank them out. In fact, they bought a second set from us. These things work. If you've got tough material that's sticky, that is just clinging to the inside walls of your bin, try these bin butlers from Airmatic. You will love them. Check them out at airmatic.com or Check us out at maconcrete.com and you know we love you at concreteanswers.tv. See ya.